So guys, in today's video we're going to have a look at these chargers and these are made by Sky RC. So in my quest to find a replacement charger, I came across these. So I didn't want to spend 100 or 150 bucks for a charger, so these will cost you only 30 bucks. And these are actually pretty good. So these little chargers will charge with 10 amps and they are 6 as compatible. They have an LCD screen and a lot more. So let me get those out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. And here are the chargers guys, so inside the box you will find the charger and the manual, and that's it. So you won't find any power leads for example or extension cord for the balance board, so these are just simply the chargers and all of the other cables or adapters you have to provide those yourself. So let's have a close look at one of those. The first thing I notice when holding this charger is the build quality, and the build quality feels very very nice. So there are no loose parts and everything feels very sturdy, and the plastic has got a very nice touch to it. So on this side you will find the input. So you can use the XT60 connector with an input voltage of 10 to up to 28 volt and you can use a USB-C cable. So if you're going to use a USB-C cable but your USB charger only has got 2 amps, you cannot charge a battery with 3 amps for example. So just keep that in mind. So on this side you will find your balance board and the output and this is also the XT60. So underneath here you will find a very big cooling fan and of course on top of the charger you will find a color display and a couple of buttons. So there's one thing what I want to show you first and that is that you can use this one to check the voltage of your battery. Just a second. To check the battery voltage the only thing you need to do is plug in your balance board. So here I've got a 2S LiPo battery and I'm just going to insert the balance board into the charger and it should power on. And here we go guys, so now you can see the total voltage and the voltage of each cells, so that's pretty useful. So this is a simple 2S LiPo battery, but I can use the same trick, for example, with a 4S LiPo battery. So you'll find your total voltage in the bottom and the voltage of each cells, so that's a pretty useful function. So now let's power this device on and show you the menu inside this. When you plug in a power source, you will see this screen, and this screen will tell you how much voltage and how much power you will put in there from your power source. So currently we are putting in 20 watts, 12 volt and 1.65 amp. So if you want to charge a 6 uh, S LiPo battery with 5 amps, this power supply isn't sufficient for that. So you need to have a different power supply. But if you want to charge for example a 2S LiPo battery, yeah you can do that with ease with this little power supply. So when you press this little button, then you will have the home screen. So let me show you all the menu inside there. To enter the menu press the middle button once and here you will find all the settings. So the first setting that you can set is the battery type and you've got a lot of different things to choose from which is a good thing. So you, you can also use this one to charge different types of batteries and I really like that. So let's put it onto the LiPo. So the second one is the amount of cells. So currently we have selected 4 cells but if you want to use a 2S LiPo for example you have to put it onto the 2S. So the second one is the task. So standard it is always onto the balance which I always prefer. So when enter that one then you can use the normal charge, the storage and the discharge. But I always recommend to charge a LiPo battery using the balance one. So the other one is the condition and this is like the end voltage of the charge. So normally it is 4.2 volts but if you want to have it a little bit more safe then uh, for example put in the 4.19 or 4.18 which is a little bit more safe for the LiPo batteries. So the other thing is the charge current. So currently it is set to 3 amps but you can also change this to 10 amps maximum. So all the way down it should go all the way up to 10 amps. But yeah, for this power supply it's not as sufficient. So the next thing is the start button and the other one is go back. So let me connect the battery and show you when we are going to charge something. I have connected the 3S LiPo battery and let me show you how you can charge this one. So the first thing you want to do is press enter and we have to make sure the battery type is set correctly. So currently it is not correct. So press enter, go to LiPo and press enter again. So the next thing is check the amount of cells. So normally this, uh, this will automatically recognize the amount of cells. So for example if you have connected a 4S LiPo but it only tells you it is 3S, make sure all the connectors are, yeah, uh, are proper otherwise you won't charge this battery like it should. 
should. So the next thing is how do you want to charge the battery. So I always recommend to charge LiPo batteries with the balance. But if you would like to do so, you can normally charge it, put it into storage or discharge the battery. So we are going to use the balance one. So the next thing is the end voltage. So I always like to have it a little bit more safe and therefore I put in the 4.19 volt. So the next thing is the current, so for example we are going to charge it with uh, 2.5 amps and now press start and it should automatically start. So the, the thing is my power supply is not able to supply 2.5 amps but if you are connected to a normal power supply then of course you can charge it with way more power than it is doing it right now. So yeah this is pretty useful. When your battery is charging you can also press the plus button. So when you do so you will find the voltage of each cell, press it again you will find the internal resistance, press it again you will find the specifications of your power supply, press it again you will find your home screen again. So if you want to cancel the charge cycle press the enter button and press it again and now the charge cycle has been stopped. So guys that was the Sky RC the B6 Neo charger and what do I think of it? Well I really like those chargers, I really like the small profile that I have, the menu is very simple to understand and this one can be uh, used to charge 6S LiPo batteries. So if you are having an 8S LiPo battery you cannot use this one but Sky RC also make different ones for 8S or more. So yeah I, overall this charger I really like this and especially for the price so I think it's around 35 bucks or something so I'll put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself and for the money yeah I really like these little things. Alright guys that was it for today, thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video, bye bye!